The Ulysses S. Grant National Historic Site where White Haven is located. White Haven is the name of the estate of Colonel Frederick Dent, who had become U.S. Grant's father-in-law. Ulysses S. Grant, famous Civil War general and 18th president of the United States. Our yard begins in 1843 when Second Lieutenant Grant was stationed here in St. Louis at Jefferson Barracks. While there during his free time, he would hop on his horse and head west and visit his old West Point roommate, Frederick Dent. Frederick's father at that point in time owned 281 acres and now makes up Grant's farm. During his business, Grant fell in love with Frederick's sister, Julia. In 1848, Grant married Julia Dent. As a wedding gift, the Dent family gave the young couple eight acres, which is now a part of Grant's farm. At about the same point in time, Adolphus Bush emigrated to the United States from Germany. In 1861, Adolphus Bush married Lily Anheuser, whose father, Everhard, owned a small brewery in South Dakota. Adolphus John Everhard had managed the brewery and eventually became president. Adolphus Bush is recognized as the founder of Anheuser Bush. Anheuser Bush was attracted to the market to Budweiser for the King of Beer. Bags. You may recognize the gate with many, many television courses, the photographs of the world famous Budweiser Clydesdales pulling that big red Studebaker beer wagon through those gates. And coming up on our driver's left hand side is a very unique one of a kind fence. This fence is made in 2003 Civil War rifle barrel. August Bush Sr. had the fence built as the peace memorial to the Civil War veterans both Confederate and Union troops. And on our right hand side is a small cabin. Grant returned to Lawson's cabin in 1854. In 1903, Adolphus Bush's son, August Sr., purchased the land and now makes up Grant's farm. By this time, the cabin had been moved several times. In 1904, it was displayed at the St. Louis Wall's Fair on our Hill and Forest Park. In 1907, August Sr. purchased the cabin for $7,000 and moved it to where it resides today. We are getting ready to enter the 160 acre deer park. Here are more than 30 species roam free in a natural setting. Animals from six of the world's seven continents call Grant's Farm home. The Bush family has been collecting these unique species for over 100 years. You'd see better down here on our right hand side. The ones that are with the light brown coats with the white spots are fallow deer that come to us from crossing in Sardinia. The rest of the deer in there with the darker coats are Sika deer that are found in the deciduous forests of the Far East. August Bush Sr. bought or built most of you here today, including the Bush Family Main Residence, which you can take a glimpse of if you look straight down the dirt road coming up on our driver's right hand side. This beautiful home that he had built, it was completed in 1913, as hosted royalty, presidents, movie stars, and sports figures. August Bush Sr. enjoyed the country lifestyle. When he purchased his property in 1903, he and his family resided in one Bush Place near the brewery. In 1913, he moved his family to this location in Boston City. At that point in time, Gravoy Road to our driver's left was a dirt red road, and the countryside was mainly farmland. It was a day-long journey by horse drawn carry from the brewery to Grant's farm at that point in time. Since then, four generations of the Bush family resided here. Coming up on our driver's left-hand side is an equestrian jump. For many years, the Bush family has shown world-class jumping horses. You can see some of the awards that they won in the Barnhouse Stable area. August Bush Sr., excuse me, August Bush Jr. officially known as Gussie, 
Go send the light by the enthusiasm of his private guest. Then he decided to open the transform to the public in 1954. Since then, we are pleased to announce that almost 25 million guests have visited transform. And we thank all of you very much for visiting with us today. <laughs> She just said that I should sit still. She just learned to walk, so she's still. I don't want you to hold me anymore. When you get locked inside the tram, you go through the narrow gate open. She's not having it. She's like, no. She's not having it. And many of our smaller trees have got protective fencing around them. This is because of all kinds of roots of the animals, and in order to ensure the proper growth of the trees, you need to put the fencing around them. <laughs> Right-hand side, we've got our old dad's sheep. These sheep are found in the mountainous areas in the Barbary coast of Africa. They've got specially adapted hooves that allows them to climb straight up the red rocks. The outer portion of their hooves is very hard. The inner portion is very soft, like a sponge. We've got several of our cattle species coming up on our left-hand side. Out in front, we've got American buffalo or bison. At one point in America's history, there were more than 60 million buffalo that roamed the plains of the western United States. And the cattle that you, cattle that you see immediately on the left-hand side are Texas Longhorns. You can recognize Texas Longhorns by their squared off horns. Other up, the cattle with the extremely large horns are Ancoli cattle that come to us from Uganda, Africa. And the cow here with the black coat is a corriente, the same species of cattle that you see with the running of the bulls through the streets of Spain. fly their 15 to 20 foot strides allows them to cruise along and ground the speeds up to 45 miles per hour. Look at the deer. Look at the deer. Look at the deer. On our left hand side is an axis deer. You can see their pretty red coat with their white spots down the side. Some consider it the prettiest of the deer species because of that reddish coat. Yes, sir. 
the ex the deer park and going into the tear garden. While we're in the tear garden, we invite you to pet and feed the goats, take a fun ride on our carousel, and see our animal show. The animal show schedule is printed on the inside of your map. Additional maps are available from all of our merchandise stores and our hospitality bar. And coming up on our right hand side, we've got a sky species of cattle. Black and white striped cattle or belted galloways, otherwise known as the Oreo cooked cows. And the brown shaggy cattle in there are Scottish Highlanders. Both of these species come to us from the coastal area in the highlands of Scotland. Please keep our options concerned the trim as we go through the colored bridge. We have a bunch of On stuff the way down, we've just got face painting. <laughs> and just outside the Bourne Off entrance itself, we've got parakeet feet, camel, and pony ride. The Bourne Off area itself, you can use the best of the historic carriage and the stable. For those of our guests 21 years of age and older, we invite you to sample to have a fine Anheuser Bush product at a hospitality bar. We've got some brown elk over here on our right hand side. Brown elk are found in the mountains of the western United States from Canada down to Mexico. As you exit our tram in the tier garden, you can purchase a fun pass. A fun pass is a $7 value for $5. With it, you can do bottles of goat's milk, a carousel ride, and a snow cone. You can also rent a stroller or wheelchair for the same person selling those fun passes. Please remain seated, folks. We're going to have to wait out here for a while for the trams in front of us to clear the tear garden area. We're going to be stopping off for a cold beer along the way, or what? I think that's a good idea. I'll take that Budweiser signature draft and it served at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. What are you going to have, Chris? Oh my gosh. To report our trying to go down and pick up your cars, please remain down in the Bourne Off Courtyard area. Do not come back up here to the tear garden to reboard the tram as this is just a dropping off point and you will not be allowed to reboard. Remember the four B's for getting down to your car, beer, bus, bar, off and boarding. The deer that you see on our left hand side are some more fellow deer. Please remain seated folks and keep a lot of you inside the tram as we are to the deer park. Please sit down, guys. <laughs> 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 